Yeah, guys, we are in the Affliction League, and my strategy is boss rushing. I know that this is a little unconventional in comparison to what everybody is doing in the Affliction League. We have farmed 19 div in just a few hours. You can probably get somewhere on average of five to seven divs per hour using this strategy. Now, what do I mean by boss rushing? So boss rushing on a map, as you guys can see from the gameplay, is literally that you're going to pick a map and you are literally just going to rush straight to the boss and kill the boss now why do we do this the main reason for this is because we don't want to miss a chance on completing our searing exarch progress we are strictly looting to get the incandescent invitations which are currently selling for 2.4 div on the market which are really really good um now, when it comes to this, the reason we're doing boss rushing is because that way, every single time, if you're not even paying attention to this, you won't miss killing the boss at the 28th mark on here, which where the, the invitation will actually drop. So normally when you load into a map, you're gonna get the credit for the Searing XR progress fairly, fairly early. Even if you, you're you not really paying attention, all you need is one of the shrines to pop up and it's super easy. I will do a live demonstration here in just a second. But we're looking to fill this up to 28 and we're going to get the incantation drops which sell and make all of our div. Now a few things in a lot of preparation that goes into this is one, the very first thing is, is you need a very, very fast build. I am playing Lightning Warp, which is a super, super fast build, which you guys have already seen in the little bit of gameplay, but we're going to show some more here. This build is incredibly fast. So something like an auto bomber, which would be really cool. That build looks insane. Uh, even normal tornado shot, something that's just is gonna just get you through the map as fast as possible. Um, so you need a really, really fast build. Any of those work. You don't need anything too crazy, but just something that'll get you through fast. Next is going to be your loot filter. Okay, loot filter is very, very important in boss rushing. I have mine from Neversync. Shout out to Neversync. I have a very strict, um, loot filter here and you can probably get even stricter all right uh, a lot of people when they're doing boss rushing they consider not to pick up anything that's less than a chaos so you want to pick up anything that's a chaos or more when you're farming this however just with the normal very strict loot filter i really like it because i can still pick up a few other things because yeah i still cheat on that we really want to reduce picking up as many items as humanly possible because all we want to do is get to the boss so I do cheat a little bit by picking up other items, especially like Awakened Sextants or other just pieces that I need or uh, definitely just other items on the ground. On top of that, with this strategy, we're gonna need a lot of map sustain. So when you come into your Atlas tree and when you're looking at your Atlas, you need to have really, really linear maps that are just straight to the point and something that can just get you to the boss quick. Now I have chosen Mesa and I paired it with jungle valley now i am at a bit of a disadvantage here because i haven't got my other two void stones i definitely encourage you guys when you are doing this to try to get your all four of your void stones before really doing this i've just been really slacking at it um this way you can open up more of your favorite maps here and i actually need to do this and just do uh, mesa um so what i'm doing is i'm doing all mesa plus one jungle valley okay now they did take beach out beach last league was definitely the best map that you can do and uh strand is still very strong i don't know where strand is at it's over here somewhere but strand is super strong but i chose jungle valley and mesa now there's a few things when it comes to these maps that are a little bit of a plus and minus jungle valley is definitely the better map for map sustain because it's just a linear direction going forward and you're going to kill a lot of mobs when you're going through it so the more mobs that we can kill on our way to the boss gives us more chance for a map to drop and a duplicate map to drop to help us with our sustain. Mesa really doesn't do that because it's such a short, short map. You can get to the boss literally in 10 seconds. So you don't really kill a lot of mobs on Mesa. However, with Lightning Warp and how fast I am, I kind of just clear a little bit before fighting the boss. And then that way I can get a, at least, you know, a couple map drops if not more if i do get at least one then i know i'm winning and we're doing good there but just to keep in mind that when you are picking these maps for this kind of strategy you're going to need to have a linear map that has some decent mobs that you can kill jungle valley is definitely the preferred map over mesa but mesa is incredibly faster now on top of this we have to go into our atlas tree and we built it up for um basically all 
Searing Exarch here with a chance to get a double chance. So instead of it just awarding one, we get a chance for it to award two, which helps us finish faster. And then all of the nodes that we picked are just to give us increased map drops and to be duplicated. Okay, we took all of the points that we could in this. And I'm also, I also took singular focus for the 200% chance to have our maps be our favorite maps, which is always going to be Mesa or Jungle Valley. And then any other ones are just basic currency, which is great. Now, I don't have all of my uh, Atlas tree points here. I'm still missing a few from Kim uh, finishing uh, Maven, but I got the main ones that you need. Um, we got Shaping the World, which is great. Uh, we will finish up and grab uh, Shaping the Mountains as well as Shaping the Skies, which is great, uh, just to help with more and more map sustain. Now, the big one, which is really cool here, is Trial of Glory. We took the points in this is because when a trial or a labyrinth spawns on the map, it's normally a, a regular labyrinth trial, and you get the invitation, not the invitation, but the item to be able to go do your trials. However, with Trial of Glory, we have a chance for it to be an improved one. With it being improved, you're going to be able to get items like this in those drops. It's one of four items. There's four different ones. And as you guys can see, they sell for 200 chaos right now. I have the divine font can be used additional times, the gift to the goddess. So this is just literally extra passive currency that we get. And we're not always going to do this. We're only going to do this if it's an empowered one. So hopefully we find some more of these, but it's a, it's a very small chance that we get the empowered one. I think it's about 30%, which isn't too bad, right? No, it's a 20% chance, which isn't bad. And we only actually have a four, six, a 10% chance that we actually do get a labyrinth but on the off chance that we do get one you guys can see that these sell for an amazing amount of currency now what what else we took on here is really really good we took points into our conquering or conquered conquerors for map johnson or map bosses to drop conquered maps as well as vivid memories so this gives us a chance to get um excuse me this this gives us a chance to get this gives us a chance to get our uh, invitations, which you can see here, which are very, very good. You can sell these things off if you want. They sell for a small amount of currency, which aren't bad. But the main reason that we take these is because we are going to be able to get these shards to fight the bosses, which are awesome. And then these things sell for a decent amount of currency. Or if you want, you could just, you know, sell the run. That also makes a lot of good currency. But you're, you're able to do the maps to get these shards from those bosses. Um, on top of that, we are also getting a lot of memories, which are super strong. These don't sell for an insane amount, but it, again, it's just added passive currency, which is great. And then the main reason that we are doing Jungle Valley, which is why I have it um, favored, is the Fortune. The Fortune Divination card is the best and rarest card that will drop on Jungle Valley. So it is time to divine orbs if we get 12 of them. I have found two so far pretty good it doesn't drop all the time it's the hardest one but this is a lot of extra passive currency that we're just getting just by running the map normally so how to prepare your maps on this this is a very straightforward strategy you can do this with eater of worlds however eater of worlds invitations don't sell as much as searing exarch that's why we're doing searing exarch you're only going to do increased quantity of items you don't need to do anything else since we're not doing anything we only want to just click and go uh, for maps, to get the bonus here and completion for this, we're doing just gray maps. You don't have to do yellow maps or blue maps if you don't want to. The maps are the same regardless of what rarity they are. However, I do like to do, you know, maybe a little bit of the chisels as well as uh, making them magic at a bare minimum just because it's a little bit of extra quantity which is nice and the effects just really don't hurt us as a whole so what i suggest doing is just trying to farm these you can go buy a bunch of maps and just get it started um i think i spent about maybe a div or so trying to get as many maps as i could um, just to get it going and since then i haven't had any issues with map sustain so that's how we prepare our maps you don't really need anything like if you have a rare one here these rare maps i can do with my build and none of those modifiers really hurt me but if you feel like the modifiers are too strong or whatever depending on your build you just scourge it just make it gray you know normal and then upgrade it to magic and you're good to go there that's how we prepare our maps for the entire series all right so let's do a little live demonstration i'm going to kind of show both maps you guys have already seen them but let's go ahead and do one right now let's do mesa 
just to show you all you're gonna do is put your map in here you don't need any modifiers you're just gonna click your searing x arc and we're gonna activate and just go super quick the idea is to get through here in a sub 30 seconds or less depending on your build but i'm playing lightning warp so i'm literally just zooming and we just want to get to the boss as fast as we can you see we got a mesa drop so we're good we go to the arena and we just kill him and Bob's your uncle and we're done. So that's why Mesa, it's so quick and so fast that there's not a lot of mobs. So if I wanted to go around and kill more mobs, I definitely could. And what did that take us? Like maybe 15 seconds? Now let's go do Jungle Valley, which is my more favored map. I should probably swap those on the tree. But this one's better because it gives us the chance for the fortunate to drop. I like this one more because we are just killing so many more mobs and this is good not only for passive xp and we got delirium which is cool but we're just gonna zoom through right i normally like to clear on delirium but now if you have like stuff like a strong box you could definitely just do it if you wanted to it doesn't hurt it doesn't slow you down a whole lot but there's some good elites on here See how many more mobs we're killing? And we have more of an opportunity to get map drops, right? A little bit more XP. And then we're already at the end. You can see that on the map, it's pretty straightforward and streamlined. It's, it's just a straight shot to this boss. And then we just come in here, we pop this. And this is how I'm farming like seven and a half div per hour or like seven div per hour. And then the boss spawns. She's all buffed up. We kill her and then we're out. So that one was more close to like 30 seconds. But yeah, guys, that is boss rushing in a hole. And then as you guys can see, we actually got a double on that last one. So now we're at eight of 28. And again, we just pop one in and just go. It is super, super good. The divs are selling for 2.4 a pop. And we, in just a few hours, like probably like four hours total, I've got 19 div, which is really, really good. Again, if you're very, very efficient with this, this is all about being efficient. You can probably get like seven point or probably seven div per hour with this. So at first getting everything going and just kind of like not picking things up. Um, I was probably doing like five or four, an hour, four and a half. But now that I'm more efficient and I'm just going through with a strict loot, loot filter, I'm getting, you know, five to seven div per hour, which is just really, really good for boss rushing. So if you're somebody who likes to just zoom through maps, you don't really want to pick up a whole lot. You don't want to have to worry about going into the wildwood and playing the RNG game with the wisp and then coming out and doing, you know, two to three abysses. I do think that is just such a strong strategy as well. It's super, super good. You really need to understand Magic Find and how that entire thing works with the Spires. But for me, someone like myself, this is just much more efficient. And I just have a lot more fun with this. I just rush, I kill everything on the map, and we're good to go. So yeah, guys, this is boss rushing. This is what I'm doing right now until um, I can farm up a bit more currency to just kind of get everything I need to run Abyss farming with my Magic Find. But yeah. Like the video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about boss rushing this uh, league with Affliction. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and make sure to subscribe and turn on notification. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.